I'm currently decorating the outside of this house at the moment and I'm working on these fascia boards which is that part there and the soffit board underneath there. I've already done the other three sides of the house and it's just this stretch left to complete. I don't know if the camera can pick it up but this fascia board is in pretty poor condition. The paint's flaking off really badly. It's very stained up where I think the gutter was probably full of rubbish and the water has gone down the back of it in the past and it's ended up staining the fascia board. So the first thing I'm going to have to do I think is to clean out the contents of this gutter before I do anything else. So I'll just get my trowel and my bucket and I'll be making a start on cleaning out the gutter. Down through this gutter here there is quite a bit of rubbish in it so I'm not surprised the water was coming down over the back here. So, as you can see, quite a bit of dirt and moss, etc., which has come down off the roof over the years, just filled the gutter up. So I'm going to carry on now, getting the rest of the dirt out of this gutter, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's the gutter all cleaned out nicely. Um, I just use a trowel and a brush to do that, but you can nowadays hire or purchase these new gutter vacuums which are very good to do that job as well. The next thing I'm going to do is, because we've got all this flaking paint along here, is I'm going to use a scraper to scrape along and remove a lot of this flaking paint. I don't tend to use one of these bigger scrapers to do this, I tend to use a, a one inch scraper to get in all the nooks and crannies better, so that's just my own personal preference, that's what I'm going to be using. But I'm also concerned that these flaking bits can get in my eyes, so I'm going to be wearing some safety glasses and also my mask to do this. So I'll just pop them on. There we go, nothing's going to get in my eyes now. So I normally do a section at a time between the two brackets between these two brackets like that and then move along to the next two so I know just where I am and how far I've got. You can see all those bits coming down so I'm glad I've got these safety glasses and masks on. Okay, so that's that, that's that piece of fascia board done. The thing to bear in mind is these soffits under here, they can contain asbestos in the material. So if you're not sure whether yours has got asbestos in it, you're probably better off getting someone to check it for you. There are companies out there who come along and take a little sample just to check to see whether that is asbestos or not, because you don't want to be rubbing it down if that's an asbestos material. Right, so I'm going to carry on moving along here and giving it a scrape down and getting all these bits and off and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's it all scraped down now. I've got rid of all that horrible flaking paint. So it looks better already, thank goodness. So the next stage in the process, I need to give it a, a really good rub down with some abrasive paper. And to do it, I'm going to be using some 120 grade aluminum oxide paper to do it. So I'll just first of all put on my mask and my goggles again. There we go, that's better. So once again between the two sections. That's the fascia board, and now I'm going to do the soft area. There we go, so rubbing that off, you're going to make it a lot smoother, blend in any areas where the paint's flaking, and give better adhesion for the paint to stick on it. Now once I've rubbed it down, I need to dust it off. Now I tend to use this type of dusting brush, particularly on outsides, this 
three knot ones because it's a lot stiffer for getting all spiders webs out and things like that. These cheaper ones are a bit too floppy and don't work so well. So if you could get hold of one of these, they're much better for dusting down. As you can see, you can really stab it in there. Get rid of the dust and muck. There, so that section is a lot better now. So I'm going to carry on and do all the rest of it and I'll be back in a minute. That's that all nicely sanded down, nice and smooth now. All the debris gone. So there's one last thing I want to do before I paint this, and that's to give it a nice wash down, including the gutter to get rid of any dirt, etc. So the paint will stick better. And to wash it down, you could either use some a dash of washing up liquid dish soap or some of this sugar soap. If you use the sugar soap, please make sure you mix it up to the guidelines written on the back of the bottle and also make sure you wear gloves when you use the sugar soap. But I'm just using a little dash of the dish soap washing up liquid. I'm also using one of these decorative sponges, which are a bit tougher than a normal sponge. I'm going to start with the gutter. Doing this is a good opportunity to give the, the gutters a clean down. They do look a lot better for it. If you just paint the face your board and soft it and leave the gutter, it does kind of look a bit shabby. There. there we go. There it goes a lot cleaner, much better so the paint will stick much better to that surface and help it last much longer as well. So I'm going to carry on and wash off the rest of this and I'll be back in a minute. All washed down, nice and clean now. What you may find, like what I found here, and well, now I've done all the scraping and washing down, I've got a few areas where it's gone through back to the bare timber. I've got two or three areas like this, and that's going to need to have a coat of wood primer on it first. So what I'm going to be using is a bit of this Bullseye 123, but any um, good quality wood primer would do for this. So it's, it's um, <coughs> So this process, by the way, is called spot priming. There we go, so that's all we need to do. Just put a little bit of primer over like that. There's a little bit there. There we go, so I've got another couple down the other end to do. That's it, all spot primed. Fine when you've prepared the fascia board, you might have some faults in it, like you might have some open joints like what I've got here, or splits or cracks in the surface. If you have, the best product to use to fill those is these two-pack wood fillers. They've got a hardener and a filler that you mix together. And the good thing about these is they dry very hard and they're water resistant. I've also done a video on how to use these. So if you check out my channel, I've done a video on how to use these wood fillers. The paint system which has been used previously on the fascia board and soffit is an oil based paint on both of these. So what I'm going to be applying is an oil based undercoat and gloss. It's a good quality trade paint this. So I suggest you get yourself a similar sort of good quality trade undercoat and gloss. And I'm going to be applying two coats of undercoat and one coat of gloss just to make sure it's got a good solid paint film on the surface. <clears throat> However, on some houses, the soffit under here has been previously painted with a water-based masonry paint. If you're unsure what has been used on your soffit, what you can do is you can use some of this methylated spirits. If you put some of this methylated spirits on a cloth and give the paint a rub, if it comes off, 
it shows that it's a water-based paint so it more than likely be a masonry paint if it does come off if it doesn't then it's an oil-based paint called pioneer brush recently sent me a selection of their brushes to try out so that was good of them so i thought brilliant opportunity to try out one of their brushes on this particular project now what i've got in mind is one of their pioneer spirit renaissance brushes now these brushes are designed specifically for applying oil-based paints because they do perform apparently just like a pure bristle brush so that's a pure bristle brush there and that's one of the pioneer spirit renaissance and i must say the bristles do feel very much the same however the advantages of these is because they're not pure bristle they won't absorb the paint and get clogged up and also they're tougher and will last much longer as well the brush's also got a stainless steel ferrule and a sustainable hardwood handle which is brilliant they come in either packs of four or three four or five like this at different sizes or if you buy them individually this is quite good look you get a plastic protective case when you finish using them and clean them out you can snap it back on again to stop them getting messed up which I think is pretty good actually so that's a pioneer spirit renaissance brush for oil based paint so I'm going to be trying it out on this project so I'll get my paint ready and I'll get cracking I need to start on the undercoat of the facial board and soffit so I've done up to this point here that bracket so I'm going to be doing from that bracket to that bracket next. I'll be doing the soffit area first, then the front of the fascia board, and then finally the underneath edge of the fascia board. So I've got my undercoat in the paint kettle here. So in like that, tap it on the side, on one side like that. Only about a centimetre of paint, no more than that I would suggest. First thing I'm going to do is cut in along the edge of the window here. These brushes are brilliant, they hold a nice quantity of paint, these Spirit Nason's brushes, so you can cut in a nice long length before they run out of paint. Now I'm going to do the back of that edge here. Okay. Now I'm going to straight on the flat section here. This brush does spread this paint out really nice. It's got a good amount of springiness in the bristles. Right, now I'm going to do the front of the fascia board here. If you've got any sort of awkward pieces to get to, you could use one of these Fitch brushes to get into really awkward areas if you need to. It's got a fitch, that one. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do on the edge of that bracket, I'm going to go up and down slightly, just to get a straight line on the edge of that. I'm going to tilt the brush downwards. You make sure to get the bristles right up underneath there. You can actually rest that part of the ferrule underneath there to make sure you don't go too far. I'm going to go back and do the other part.
I'm going to lie it flat again. Just get up under that edge. Like that. Leave them underneath the gutter. Like that. Lay it off. Just the underneath edge of the fascia board to do now. I'm going to have the brush sideways now, like that. There we go. Very good. So I'm going to carry on and do the other sections. We'll have a look at it when it's finished. So that's the first coat of undercoat all completed now. So I'll need to leave that to dry overnight and tomorrow I'll be able to put a second undercoat over the top of that. And then leave that to dry and I'll be giving it the, the gloss to make it look all nice, shiny and smart hopefully. So when it's all done, we'll come back and have a look at it. It's the old um, fascia board and soffit all completed now. And it does look a lot better than it did originally and with those three coats of good quality trade paint it should give it many years of protection so it should look good for many years in the future and i must also say that these pioneer spirit renaissance brushes are really good for applying the old oil-based paint they've got a good lot of resistance and resilience in the bristles which enabled me to spread the paint out nice and evenly. They kept their shape, which was brilliant for cutting in around the windows and things like that. So overall, if you're a lover of oil-based paints, I would thoroughly recommend these Pioneer Spirit Naissance brushes. They are very good for, particularly for the oil-based paints. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, why not subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos.